What if consciousness is not merely a product of nature, but a force within it? What if it is not a byproduct of the brain, but a field like gravity or electromagnetism, subtle, pervasive, and fundamental to the fabric of reality? This is the radical idea we now explore, that consciousness is the fifth force of nature. It is not a force in the classical sense, pushing or pulling with measurable magnitude, but a presence, a dynamic field that informs, organizes, and infuses all other forces with coherence and meaning. In physics, we recognize four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. These forces govern the movement of matter and energy across the cosmos, yet none of them account for awareness, and none explain why anything should be experienced from the inside. But what if they are not sufficient? What if there is a more profound organizing principle, a field of awareness that guides the unfolding of the cosmos, not by mechanical necessity, but by knowing, by intention, by presence? Just as the electromagnetic field allows for the emergence of light, and the gravitational field shapes the curvature of space, so too might a consciousness field allow for the emergence of mind. It would not operate through force as we know it, but through resonance, through the shaping of probability, the organization of complexity, the subtle tuning of matter toward coherence. This idea is more than a metaphor. The phenomena of quantum entanglement, observer effects, and the collapse of the wave function suggest that consciousness plays a role in the unfolding of physical reality. And if the consciousness is not localized to the brain, but is a property of the universe itself, then perhaps we are glimpsing a deeper law. Roger Penrose once speculated that the laws of physics might be incomplete without the existence of consciousness. Bohm described the implicate order as a field of potential that unfolds into form through the process of perception. David Chalmers proposed that consciousness be added as a fundamental element in our scientific framework, alongside mass, charge, and spin. These are not flights of fancy, they are responses to a deepening paradox. We live in a universe that produces consciousness, but we do not know how or why. And yet, those minds appear to reflect something essential about the whole. If consciousness is a fifth force, then, well, it is not just an epiphenomenal phenomenon. It is causal. It interacts with matter and energy. It organizes form. It directs evolution, not through design imposed from above, but through an interior knowing that arises from within. This honestly would explain the directionality of life, the movement toward greater complexity, integration, and self-awareness. It would explain why the universe is intelligible, why it tends toward beauty and symmetry, and why it appears to be tuned for life. A field of consciousness would also, you know, provide a new lens for understanding human experience. Love, insight, creativity, synchronicity, these are not accidents or illusions. They are signatures of a deeper, more profound force at work. They are moments when the field shines through. To consider consciousness as a universal field is also to reimagine the concept of the soul. The soul is not a ghost in the machine. It is the local expression of a non-local presence. It is the point at which the consciousness field becomes aware of itself in form. In this view, the death of the body is not the end of consciousness, but really, its return to source. The continuity of awareness beyond brain activity, reported in near-death experiences, mystical visions, and states of transcendence, begins to make sense. The field is not broken when the vessel dissolves. The current continues to flow. This vision, you might say, reshapes everything. Ethics becomes resonant with the field. Healing becomes alignment. Prayer becomes tuning. And love becomes the signature of coherence between minds across the medium of the conscious universe. To attune to the consciousness field is to enter a different mode of knowing. It's a uh, to listen from the heart, to perceive from stillness, to act with reverence. It is not to control reality, but to cooperate with it. Not to impose will, but to align with the deeper intelligence that moves through all things. The mystics have long known this. They have called it the Holy Spirit, the Tao, 
the divine, the beloved, not as a metaphor, but as a field, as the felt presence of unity, as the breath of God that animates the dust. And they have sung of this field, not in equations, but in longing. In the opening lines of Rumi's Masnavi, we hear the cry of the reed flute. Listen to the reed and the tale it tells, how it sings of separation. Ever since they cut me from the reed bed, my wail has caused man and woman to weep. The reed speaks of being severed from the source, from the field. It longs to return. Its song is the song of all souls, the ache of embodiment, the beauty of yearning, the memory of unity. Science is now approaching this mystery from its angle, and while the language differs, the intuition is converging. Consciousness may not arise from matter. Matter may arise within consciousness, and that consciousness may be the force that brings the cosmos into being, not just at the Big Bang, but in every moment of observation, of choice, of love. You are not separate from this field. You are in this field, focused on form for a time. And when you remember that, the world comes alive, not as an object to be measured, but as a presence to be met. Consciousness is not inside you. You are inside consciousness. Consciousness, like gravity, light, and love, moves through everything in the cosmos at large. How might a conscious universe evolve, awaken, and know itself through the vast unfolding of stars, species, and sentient beings? This video is adapted from the Consciousness in the Nature of Reality book by Dr. Fareed Mostamand, a book that blends ancient wisdom, Rumi's poetry, and the frontiers of quantum physics to help you rediscover who you truly are. Subscribe, share, and explore the whole book to awaken to the deeper reality behind all things.